These bikers have to use road names for their own protection. And when a child calls them, we will ride out to this child's home. And we always call the law enforcement first because if you're getting 10, 20, 30, 40 bikes showing up in your neighborhood, someone is gonna call. They secure the perimeter. We'll just stay there until that child does not feel fear. And if that's days, weeks, that's what it is. Bear, Big Fun, Pearl, and Squatch say they are part of a group of bikers who work together to empower abused children. A child might need us right before they're going to court. A child might need us when they're going to court. We're able to escort these children to court. Judges have allowed us to sit in the courtroom while that child testifies. We may show up when that child's having a nightmare. We can activate our chapters to create a physical boundary around that child's home so that child knows that we have their back. It works because we're big and scary. Bikers Against Child Abuse, also known as BACA, is centered around choices. A child must choose to join this biker family. Because so many choices have been taken away from this child, it's a way for them to use their voice again. Once they join, they receive a cut embroidered with the road name of their choosing. When the child chooses a road name, that's one of those steps to empowerment. They also get a backpack, a baka blanket, which provides a sense of security, as well as... Teddy bears that we fill with love for them. If that child chooses to go for a motorcycle ride, that child chooses the motorcycle of their choice and gets to go for a very short ride around their neighborhood. They're all volunteers. We've seen kids haven't come out of their house for like 45 days, come out and start painting guys' fingernails. BACA members say their payday comes when a child feels safe enough in the world that they no longer need them. But if they ever do, these bikers are just a phone call away. Because once a Baca child, always a Baca child.